Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish and today we have a very serious topic to tackle, medicine cabinets. The age old question, to do or not to do? Follow me. This very fun, and I mean extremely fun, and a little bit too much fun, pleated outfit is from Sandro. It has gold buttons. It has more of a sort of safari look. I really love the color. This is probably my favorite color. And I am wearing my tried and true Gucci horse bit shoes. The very first thing you wanna consider in a primary bathroom is space. In this particular bathroom, which I love, by the way, it's gorgeous, you've got a fairly large primary bathroom, which therefore has enough cabinet space. So in this case, you can do a gorgeous gilded mirror because chances are you have enough room for your medicine. In this pink bathroom, you are going to notice that there is virtually no counter space and therefore a medicine cabinet is quite necessary. Consider your routine. If you have a 10 step skincare routine, as do I, you are going to want a medicine cabinet because it's one, two, three, four, five, it's, it's gonna be a mess. If you're more of a minimalist, such as those who hardly have to wear makeup because they're naturally fabulous, then what you can do is just have it in a drawer and you can have a little drawer organizer to be able to display your products. Mirrors play a very important role in bathrooms decoratively. So first step is I'm gonna talk about the shapes of mirrors that I like for bathrooms. And then at the very end, we're gonna talk about the best medicine cabinets that I have seen that work really well and are great for today's bathroom designs. And what I mean by that is if you look at the pink pagoda bathroom here, you've got a very ornate type of mirror that has a asymmetrical shape that you can do when it's not a medicine cabinet. Sometimes design supersedes, it shouldn't, but sometimes it does supersede basic use. So if you have a bathroom that you really wanna have impact, having an ornate mirror that does not match back to the rest of the bathroom can have a really wonderful effect. One of my favorite mirrors of all time, or bathrooms I should say, is this beautiful marble bathroom with marble drawer fronts with oblong mirrors. And the surround is marble, so when you have the design element with the marble that is surrounding your mirror, it's going to be very hard to turn that into a medicine cabinet. So in those instances, you can't use a medicine cabinet. Another consideration is if you've got an ultra modern bathroom and you would like these modern shapes, whether it's a hexagon, whether it's round, whether it's highly asymmetrical and minimal and clean with very little profile, in that case, definitely use a regular mirror, which will have that elevated look you are looking for in your modern bathroom. Before I get into the obvious reasons why you should use a medicine cabinet, and which ones I'm recommending, I'm gonna ask you please to subscribe now if you could give this video a thumbs up. It takes 10 seconds and it just really, really helps my channel. So I really appreciate that. The very first recess cabinet is going to be custom. They are not very difficult to build. So think outside the box, talk to your contractor and do them in advance when you have the ability to have CAD files or when you have a good carpenter and a good contractor, a good GC, you are definitely able to do a recessed custom cabinet because what you do is you create it in the drywall prior to finishing up your walls. You probably have to do double framing, which is not difficult to do. It's just a little bit more labor. And once you have a double frame, you have the depth of the wall, you cut out a niche, you create a custom mirror cabinet by creating the inset first and then adding hinges. It's not hard to do and definitely a great way to have that custom look. The one by Aaron and Pike. This is a vertical medicine cabinet. It looks very stylish and it's a great place for you to have that minimal clean line and medicine cabinet sort of recessed into the wall together living homogeneously. We are going to share our favorite medicine cabinets of the moment in the description box below so that you guys can purchase them, utilize them, and hang them up. 
for the recessed ones that are custom, of course, we won't be able to do that. But if you look at this particular design with the floating marble vanity, these recessed cabinets are essentially backsplash to ceiling, wall to wall, very clean, custom made and custom recessed, easy to do because all you really need are basically hinges as I described in the previous description. This is a very easy, clean design for those of you who don't have drawers that is A plus. You cannot go wrong with this look. Fear not my friends, very chic wall mounted cabinets are a thing of the now and the future. And if you look at this one by MIM Design, you can see what I mean by very chic medicine cabinets. This one has both a right and a left hinge that you can choose from. And it's got a very chic sort of round knob. It is very elevated and looks extremely designer. Another way to actually create a custom medicine cabinet, kind of like a DIY project, was inspired to me by this Decus interiors medicine cabinet. This has rose gold mirror and a regular mirror. So if you were to find a symmetrical rectangular medicine cabinet, you can do cutouts of different mirrors and different shapes, and you can have your mirror guy create this for you. This is extremely elevated and quite unique. Wall-mounted medicine cabinets can also have a beautiful profile, such as this one by Claire Kennedy. The sides are matte black, gorgeous, and what this particular designer has done is that she has touched upon the matte black from the profile of these medicine cabinets and has matched it back to the faucet. This is a great way to introduce a particular metal and match it back to your fixtures. Take a look at this Bohemian bathroom. It is very on trend, very fun. And these medicine cabinets have a lip. Now, a lip can be very stressful to people because they don't know really how to decorate this shelf that sits under the cabinet. But if you have the decorative touch, then this is a really great way of introducing a medicine cabinet and making it look very elevated. I am not a fan of the barn door, people. Barn doors and I do not mix. However, in this bathroom, there's something in the je ne sais quoi about it that actually works. So if you had a penchant for barn doors, chances are you're gonna like this bathroom and this is Nina approved. For the Virgo in you, such as myself, who love to decorate and keep things highly organized and lined up perfectly like a supermarket, this medicine cabinet is for you. It is a sliding glass door over the cabinet. The cabinet has to be meticulously organized at all times, but there's something cute about it. Or you could just slide it to the right, keep the junk on the right where the mirror sits, and then on the left, it could be more of your perfume bottles that you could display. I promise I will never wear this dress again that is making me do these crazy twirls. I can't even tell you how many I've done off camera, people. Thank God I have saved you from it. But thank you for watching this episode of, yes, to medicine or not to medicine. That is the question. Look at your space, think about how you live, Think of the mirror as the cherry on top of your Sunday. Pick one that speaks to you. If it needs to be utilitarian, make sure that you do a recessed cabinet inside and then adorn it with a beautiful mirror. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I cannot wait to hear what you guys wanna see next. Please give me your questions. We read them, we respond, we love you. And we'll see you again next week on The Red Elevator.